we're hearing two separate stories. The first, uh, which has been distributed by pro-Russian media, suggests that there was an attack uh, late at night on a pro-Russian checkpoint outside Slovyansk. Uh, there is one pro-Russian TV channel which has released pictures of what it says of the aftermath of the raid, including uh, broadcasting pictures of a man's dead body under a cover. We're unable to verify those pictures. And uh, this morning we've been getting updates from the Ukrainian Interior Ministry who say that one person has been killed and several wounded. The pro-Russian media says that five people were killed. James, tell us, if these reports are found to be true, how significant are they for the crisis going forward? I think it shows that the diplomatic deal reached on Thursday, the Geneva deal, which called for all occupiers to leave uh, the buildings they've taken in recent weeks, is already in trouble. But we knew that already. Uh, essentially, I don't think what's happened overnight at this checkpoint near Slovyansk will change things much further than that because diplomacy was already in trouble. What are you hearing on the ground in terms of the mood of uh, the people there, the Ukrainians there? Uh, well, it depends who you speak to. When you just go a few blocks from where I'm speaking to, to the main government building occupied by pro-Russian protesters, they say that they will not leave. They say that they're not bound by the terms of the Geneva Agreement. And they say they will only leave if the entire government in Kiev resigns and packs up. Onlookers here uh, have perhaps a little bit more leeway, but they still say that they want a referendum for greater autonomy within Ukraine.